Hey everybody, Coach Bryant here again from Minlax.com. So, if uh, you're enjoying this video coming from our other one, we just learned how to attach the leathers, secure all our strings, get everything done, and our top secret Minlax bottom string. So, we're ready to move on. We're going to start doing uh, the outer sides, and then work in the middle, and then our center column. Um, a lot of people do these, and they do the center column first through here, and set that up. I'm not a big fan of that because uh, I think that leads to a lot more adjusting later on going down the head when you're actually forming the pocket. Um, so, and I also like to do the top section of the head first and uh, stop right about as you get the throat before I'm really ready to start loosening up those leathers and blowing out that pocket. Uh, so I get the whole top done and then I do the pocket. So we're gonna get started here. I'll start with our first string again. You guys are looking at the front of the head. I'm looking at the back. So I start off by bringing my first string over here, my top sidewall hole in through the inside of the plastic and bring that through and uh, now I'm going to bring that back spin this so you guys can see coming around here on the back and that's going to go over the string we just strung through over that piece of white and blue striker string and then we're going to pull that tight you don't want to rip on it and pull it really tight because then you might jerk some from the other side which we've already evened up if you do, it's not the end of the world, just redo it. Um, so we've got that under there. Now I'm going to come across over the front of the leather, and I'm on this tape portion right now, and then from behind it's going to come over this gap. As you can see coming in there, we're going to start pulling the slack through. And I'm going to keep that nice and even, and we're going to kind of get this in between the holes we're going to use. I want this right in the middle each time. So I've got that lined up. That's going to be about right. So now I'm going to bring my string into the hole in the plastic. I'm actually skipping a hole in this head. Depending on the head, you're going to have to figure out what you're doing. Uh, for this one, it's skipping one. For some, you won't have to. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that slack through. Again, coming into the plastic. You guys are looking at the front. I'm now going to bring. So here's your view looking at the back. Now this string goes over where we just came across and we'll pull that slack through. Kind of twisting it to kind of lock that in there. Again, spin around so you're looking at the front. Now I'm going to come back across the leather, this time going behind the strip back here. And uh, I'm going to bring the tip over the part we've just done right through there into that gap, and then we're going to pull the slack through. Alright. And this one's actually going to come up a little bit more. So we're going to come over and it's going to come inside here. So again, you can see the inside of the head. I'm going to bring this string into my next hole and pull through our slack. And now, we're going to grab our other end, bring it in through here. And we're going to pull the slack through. Alright, and once again, <laughs> now we're going to come back over to the leather and pull this behind. And again, as you can see, I'm now going under the leather when I wrap around. Uh, before we're up on the tape, we're going over both pieces, uh, just under. And uh, keep moving that around. And anytime this gets twisted, just going to keep spinning the string around in your fingertips and it'll straighten out. We don't want it getting bunched up. So again, we're going to pull this through, get this set so it's in a set on this leather in between the two holes on the side. And now, once again, I'm just going to bring this through our next hole coming down and pull through the slack. Whoop, and there you go, got twisted and you just kind of spin it around and it'll free itself up. And we want to make sure we're not pulling too tight on these leathers on these strings because then that will create too much tension and our leather will actually start to bow in. That could be trouble unless you're controlling it and you're doing a mirror image on both sides. Better off just keeping it straight. Um, which hopefully we're doing. <laughs> Alright, so now once again I'm going to come in from the back through this gap over the top of the string I just put across. Kind of get a little twist through that, straighten everything up and I'm going to come back across the leather and once again, through this gap over here, and we're going to pull this string around. And again, I'm keeping this part lined up in between 
these two holes. I always want that symmetry. And now I'll bring this one through the hole in the sidewall. And we'll start to pull that through. And then once again, bring in the string from the back through towards the front over this little string we've strung. And it's going to come. Oh, we'll make sure we keep that nice and even through there. And we're actually going to hold off right about there on this side. And now we'll go ahead and catch up the other side. So, okay, just adjust a little bit here. There you go. Thanks for holding with me. Alright, so same thing. We're going to take our string, get the end of it, and we're going to go through the first hole here on the inside. So, I'll pull that through, and just like the last time, it's going to come around over the string we just put through there, bringing this in and pulling that tight. And remember, I don't want to jerk too hard because then it'll pull this side. You can kind of pull them both at the same time, want to get tension. Be careful one doesn't slip. Uh, get used to that before you start doing it. So we've got this part anchored on, and now we're just going to do the exact same thing we did on the far side. So I'm going to bring my string over the front, and again, you guys are looking at the front of the head, I'm looking at the back. So we're bringing this in front. Stringing it across, and again, if that gets twisted, just kind of spin it out a little bit, and we're going to bring it around, bring the string in from the back, pull the slack through, and get that ready there. And again, I'm skipping the, first, the second hole here on the sidewall, so we're going to keep this right in the middle, and then it's going to come over here to the side. Again, I want to make sure we're not pulling too hard so that these leathers get jerked over to the side. So, bring our slack into this third hole, since I'm skipping the second, pulling that through. Now I'm going to come in from the back, bringing the string over through that gap, pulling the slack around, spin this so you can see at the front again. Can I get a little twist, hold that in place, and now it's going to come here to the leather, around the front, but I'm going under this part of the leather, the little thong hanging down. That nice and snug there. And again, we're going to bring our slack through this gap we just made right there and pull the string through. Alright, and we're going to make sure this is all lined up. I know it's a little loose, so I'm just going to kind of tighten this up. Keep that going. And I'll do a final tighten up at the end, so if it's not absolutely perfect right now, it's not the end of the world. Once we get a ball and a pocket stretcher in there, then we can really start going to town, figuring out what needs to be adjusted. One of the things I like using the sidewall, top string, or cross lace with the uh, strikers in it is that it's easy to kind of count how many strikers are crossed. So, like, from this part of the sidewall, it looks like we've got one, two, maybe we'll say two and a half from uh, this end to this end. So when I'm making sure it's the same on this side, I can just count two and a half strikers, and I know I'm there. Um, so it's a little bit of an easier tip for you guys. And... Uh, Maybe it's not that secret of a tip and everybody knew it, but we'll keep going. So again, finish this side, and I'm going to come in to this next hole here in the sidewall. Pull the slack through. Again, going to the inside of the head. I come around from the back, in through this gap, and we're going to pull this around. And again, make sure it's tight, but not so tight that it's... See, if I get too tight, you can see it kind of start pulling this leather in. And we don't want that, so we'll kind of back that out, keep this leather nice and straight. Alright, so now we're going to come back over to the front of the leather, pull our slack around the back, still staying under the little tail of the leather, <coughs> Excuse me. and then bring our string back through the front, pull the slack around, twist it if you need to to get any uh, bends out of the string, and then we're going to bring it back into this next hole in the side wall coming down. Again, some heads might have a ton of holes, so you have to use your judgment. If you want a whole bunch of little diamonds, use every hole. If you want to kind of stagger it, uh, start skipping holes. Um, one thing I like doing sometimes is large diamonds at the bottom for the pocket, 
and small diamonds up at the top, so you get the bigger diamonds to have a lot more hold, the smaller diamonds for that quicker release. You know, change stuff up, see what works. Alright, so it looks like this one might be a little tight. So I'm going to go ahead, add in a little more slack, so we can back it off, make sure we're lined up properly as well. There we go. That looks a little better. Alright, so again, we've got our slack from the back. We're going to come through the front, through this little gap. Take up any slack through there. Coming around the front again. And get ready to finish this last part on this leather. So once again, I'm saying around the leather, through that gap, over here. And now we're going to come in to this last hole coming here down the sidewall before we move on to the next section. And it might not be a great angle, but that's going to go in through this hole, and I'm just going to repeat our same process. As you can see now from the back, I've got my string just coming in this last gap here. Maybe you can't see. No, you can. Coming in through this gap, pull that slack through, and then I just like to leave this hanging down and out of the way. So, now, start kind of eyeballing this just to see if anything's really out of line and you can change it now but if everything's close we'll keep moving forward and again uh, it's easy to change uh, and edit the stuff once you get going towards the end um, so that's all lined up make sure we haven't pulled one of these leathers too far into the middle now we're ready to start moving in to the next sections and uh, so to do that we've got our string so once again I'm going to go over the front of this leather We'll still be up in the tape portion, so we'll go around both parts of the leather, the front and the back. And same knot. I know these things look really high tech, I'm just doing the same stuff over and over. It's kind of like with mesh, but we're doing a little more work here. And okay, or a lot more work. I don't want to sell myself short. So once again, now we're gonna come across, but now, uh oh, I'm going behind on the leathers. So we're bringing this string around, and now I'm gonna bring it up through this little gap, hopefully you guys can see this on the screen, right through there, and we're going to pull this around, and again, oops, don't get stuck under there like I just did, pull that up, and kind of twist a little bit, take up any slack, make sure that's good and tight, um, and this is also going to control our tightness over here from our first knot, so we'll make sure we pull all that slack through, and we don't have anything that will loosen up later on in the stick, so we're pulling this through, get that slack out of there. Same thing, I pulled it, so now we're going to spin around, so once again you guys are looking at the front of the head, and the string is going to come now through this gap. Same stuff that we did to attach the sides, except this time we're just doing the opposite, going from the back to the front, or front to the back. Uh, I know we'll probably a bit ago you guys noticed I didn't string on a double side wall to the heads. Um, you don't have to. The double side wall works great if you've got an older head, like something, say like a Proton uh, Plus that's old and it's an awesome head but it's definitely a little bit wider coming through there so something like this I would definitely use uh, a second sidewall maybe not definitely most times um, and that just kind of lets you narrow that pocket a little bit one of the things I've found with using wider leathers on the side certainly wider le leathers than what we have going here is that um, you're going to have that pocket definitions already going to be formed without the need for these extra sidewalls and we're already looking at add more weight to the additional pocket no sense adding a ton more Alright, so that was enough talking, I'll get back to teaching. So, and again, we're going to come from the front and go around our leather. And again, we want to line it up here so it's in between this knot and this knot. So I'm here in the front, bringing it around, and it looks like for this one, it's going to be right under that tape layer. So, we'll spin this around. As you can see, I'm going to come under the second part of leather that nice and snug in there. And now I'm going to bring it through this gap towards the front of the head. Coming towards the camera, I'll try not to hit the lens. Whoa, whew, that was close, huh? Alright. So, now we're going to come from the back again. So I'm going to spin the head around. And peel up this tail into the leather. And this string now needs to go through this gap, just like we did with the one above. I'm going to pull that through, pull in all your slack. Then you can let the tail fall back down. I want to make sure these are lined up nice and even, that these aren't crossing over each other. 
Once again, I'll let you guys look at the front of the head. This string is going to come over through this gap we just created. Twist that if you need to to keep it straight. Again, we don't want to pull these leathers too close. We just want the tension nice and perfect. And so that one's set. Now we're going to go from the front of the leather again. So I pull my slack around. And come around the leather. And once again, I want to line up in between these two knots. So kind of set that on there. And then I'm going to bring my slack through the hole here, through that gap. And once again, we're taking the finger slack, I want it tight, but not so tight that it's pulling a lot. Once we string it in the middle, it's also going to create more tension, so to pull here to counter it a little bit, we want it nice and even coming all the way through here. Uh, when you're starting out, that's probably one of the trickier parts, so that's one of the reasons I do like using these. Uh, uh, the strings with the strikers so you can count how many dashes are in there rather than how count the individual thread groupings which you can use but it's uh, well, you're staring at a lot more stuff alright so we got that on there so once again this is going to come now from the back of the leather and it'll come through that gap you can see it start to poke through and that's what we're looking for each time pulling that through Again, we don't want it twisted, so take all that out of there as you can. And now I'm going to come back towards myself from the front to the back of the head through this gap we just created. And bring this across. Alright, so now we've got one or two more on this side. We'll figure it out once we get there. And so once again, we're going to go from the front of the leather. So I'll bring my string out. So it's there in front. Take those twists out. Come around the leather. And then from the back, I'm going to go through this gap. And also, just to remind you guys, I am left-handed. So if it appears I'm doing this completely backwards, I could be. But it works. Alright. So once again, we want to make sure we're not pulling these leathers. Sometimes you got to lean back a little bit, get a good straight shot. Sometimes tease it out. And again, once we install our middle strings, which we blue, we can tension on here, and that'll help even that out. But we want to get as close to good as we can. Alright. So then, again, we'll finish this last one. Coming from the back, go ahead and spin this around for you guys to see again. Again, we're going to lift up this tail, get a bunch of space. Bring that string right through that gap in the loops. Spin it around so you can see the front. And then we're just going to pull this through. And again, we don't let it twist up or bunch up. It's just more work we're going to have to deal with later. And to finish this part off, we're going to bring the string through. And get around there. We're actually going to go one more to the middle. So, I'll bring this again. The string starts in the front, comes over the leather here. We're going to bring it over through that gap. And we'll just kind of pick a space since we don't have anything to line up with yet. But right there is good. And we'll just kind of pull that string and let it anchor. Alright, so now we need to do it to this side. So, once again, we want to kind of pull that, make sure it's good and tight. Make sure everything's lining up right. Alright, that's looking pretty nice. So, I'm now going to come across the top part of the leather, pull my slack around. And again, you guys are looking at the front. So, the strings can come through this gap on the top, pull it over, get that slack through there. And I want to keep it even straight across there, which should be between these gaps we're hitting if everything's lined up. If not, you'll just have to change some stuff later. And again, I can start counting my strikers going across. So from this point, I'm looking at one, like just over two strikers. So one, two, just over two. That's pretty close for right now. Certainly for this video tutorial as I'm cruising through it. All right, so we've got that lined up. Now I'm going to go again through the back side. So we'll spin this guy around. Whoa, we're spinning. OK, everything's better. Now we're going to come through this hole right up in there. Hopefully that's on camera. Yeah, it is. My fingers haven't covered everything. They might have. But this hole right here, we'll spin it around so you can see from the front. And we pull this guy through. And again, we want it nice and tight, but we don't want it jerking this leather all the way in. So get that set up. It looks pretty straight from this angle. 
And then I'm going to again bring the tail into the string through that gap towards myself, trying not to hit myself in the eye. That'd be bad. And again, we want to make sure that every time these are together, they're one on top of the other, they're not looped over, crossing each other. Alright, so once again, we're going to bring this <coughs> slack around through the front. That's set up. And again, we do the exact same thing I did over here. So I bring the front, bring my slack around the back, but I'm going to go under the tail into the leather hanging down. Get that set in there. And then go back through this gap. And come around. Alright. Unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot of snappy commentary or fun things like that. You know, maybe I'll learn one day how to jazz up these videos, a lot of effects, music. But uh, right now, we're just getting the basics. Um, maybe I'll just start studying a bunch of little Bob Ross painting shows. You know, like Happy Little Strings, Happy Strings. Uh, a lot of you young kids have no idea what that was about. That's okay. I'm not crazy. It was an old guy who used to paint a lot on public television. Um, so, we'll get back to stringing. Alright, so now I'm going to start. Flip this around, you can see the back. Our strings coming through, kind of under this tail area, and it's going to come into this gap, right in through there. Uh, if the tips of your strings are just rounded over and melted, I like to even uh, get a sometimes an inch long bit of melted uh, string on there. Just hold the letter to it for a while, or have a parent help you um, and melt those tips down so they can slide through. Especially if you got some real tight strings, or if you're using cross lace. A lot of times I use sidewall. Um, I know people say you're supposed to use cross lace for the traditionals, but they also say you're supposed to only use quarter inch leathers and do all this stuff and this stuff. And, you know, maybe it's just the people haven't tried it yet before. Uh, works pretty well, I like it. Some stuff's a little too thick, but you can go with it. Alright. And again, I mean, if you look back, you know, 20, 30, 50, 100 years what was used, cross lace will do just fine. So, still, you guys are looking at the back, the string's coming around through that gap, and we'll take up any of that slack. So, we'll spin around again. And now we're ready to come back to our middle leather. So again, we'll go to the front, bring that through. And it looks like this is already starting to pull a little bit, so we're going to make sure we're going to counter that. So I did that, and I just want to bring my string from the back through this gap again. And we'll make sure we're staying even going across, even between our gaps here. And then once again, this is going to come through the back into this next gap coming down the head. And we'll pull through this slack. It's really important that you have your leathers nice and tight at the base of the throat. Uh, if you use this mid lax bottom string, it holds really well. Or if you just found a way to mash those leathers, maybe you got some bigger holes in the bottom string, that works too. Um, but make sure those are nice and tight. The tighter these are, the easier it is to keep everything else going. And once again, we're going to finish this by coming through our gap, like so. And now we're ready to come back to the middle column. And that looks like it got goofed up a bunch. So real quick, pull this extra slack through here so that it's not a big embarrassing failure later. And again, it's okay to make mistakes. Just remember, you don't have to show all those mistakes to everybody. Sometimes you keep them to yourself and just learn from it. All right. So taking that twist out, now we're going to come around the front. And then from the back, we're going to go through our gap we just created. Lock this guy into place. And then we're going to come back to our column to the left. Once again, going now behind the leather, going in through the gap we've created. We twisted this onto here. There's a small little hole, so I'm going to spin it a little. And that's where we're making this large plastic tip will come in handy. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull that through. Get our slack. And just like the other side, bring this through our last gap, and we'll finish this section with uh, one last loop to the middle. That's just going to help us when we're tying our middle pieces together. So again, we're coming around the front, bring it around, take out any twists, and bring that around. Normally it'd take a little bit more time, and I'd probably actually be counting the strikers, making sure all the stuff is really close, that way there's that much less for me to undo in the end. Not just undo, but like tighten and adjust. Um, but it's not the end of the world if you don't. So if one of these looks like it's a little bit off, well, please don't start hating on me, but uh, it's going. So, we've got those set up. We've got a quick sip of water, and then we're going to start doing our middle strings. So maybe if you guys want to hum a song or tell a quick joke, we'll be back with you in like two seconds. 
Okay, here we go. So now we've got our middle strings. And lots of different ways we can tie these together. Uh, the peat is really popular, and that's where you see a lot of twists that are really tight going down. Sometimes smaller, but they'll be like that. Pretty cool. I like the tension they give. Um, most of my pockets have some kind of evolution of the peat in there at some point. It might not be all the way down, sometimes just at the top, sometimes in here. Sometimes I'll do it uh, in all three center columns. Sometimes just a regular twist in the middle with pitas just on these sides. We'll change it up. Um, it's one of the beauty things of stringing your own head. So, we're just going to go pretty standard with this one. And so we're going to start twisting our strings back and forth. We want to keep this tension nice and tight through there. And we also want to keep it nice and centered up and down the head. So, for this first one, we're just going to give it that one twist through there. And now, we'll go ahead and spin around so you can see what I've been doing. And I'll actually go ahead and put it on camera. There you go. So, now I've got that kind of nice and even. I'm going to take one end of the slack, this side, and bring it through this hole here that we just created with our sidewall. And bring that around. It doesn't have to be perfectly tight just yet. We'll just kind of get it through. And now, with the other side, we're going to do the same thing. Through the other hole, bring that in there. Make sure those aren't twisted. So now we're going to both kind of pull those. We want to get them where it's pretty even and where they're meeting, right in the middle. Nice and tight. So if you poke on it, one end doesn't get super loose and the other end stays really tight. Uh, the more twist you put here in the middle, the tighter you're going to want to keep those to keep it all uniform. So that's pretty good. So now we're going to come from the inside. From our left string, we're going to come in through this gap. Kind of twist to get the kinks out kind of pull it down a little. And then the same thing, I'll spin it around so you can see this part. So we just came out over through here, here's the end of that string, it's going to go through this gap, we'll pull it through, and then look at that, it's starting to become a stick. Now the ball's not going to fall out the middle, which I've been told is pretty crucial. So at this point you can kind of eye it up if you need to tighten one of them, loosen the other, though normally it should be just tightening. Uh, we want to keep this right in the middle. still seems a little bit off, so we'll go ahead and pull just a little bit more through. See how that looks. That's looking better. Alright, so now we're ready to do the same thing again. And I like to start, if my string from the right side, if I start going behind on the twist, which means the left one goes in front, I do that the whole way down. I have no idea if there's any kind of science, anything like that behind it. It's just kind of what I do with it. Um, so... You guys feel free to kind of do what you want with that, but this is the way we're going to be doing it for this tutorial. And uh, so, I'll finish this up. So again, my right one's going to come around from behind. We're going to get this twist in here, and then bring it back. And again, we're still in a pretty close space up and through here. I think we're just going to go with this one twist. So once again, we want that lined up as best we can, and this one's still going to go under our leather strips, as you can see here. We're not going over, we're back on this tape line. We're gonna stay what we did with the string in front. And so, from this behind, the string comes through the next gap. We're going under that strip, pulling it. Oop. I seem to have missed the hole. So, going in through this hole, inside that gap, just like we did before on these strings. We're gonna pull this through under the leather and get that fairly tight and we'll finish tightening on the other side and so we'll bring this string coming across from our twist under this leather thong in through well it's not getting my hands are right in the way on that one I'm sure so we'll try it from this angle in through this little hole and then pull that slack through and again we want this to be even so we're going to kind of pull both of these strings to make sure we're evening this out so that one end isn't really loose and one's really tight. And it kind of takes a while to get used to getting the hang of that, but once you do, you'll start cruising through them. So again, that's nice and even. We're going to go ahead and bring this string over through that gap, 
pull that tight, kind of anchor that in, and the same thing here, this string will now come over this gap and pull that in. And now we're one step closer to having a lacrosse stick. Again, we want to make sure these are lined up, so if we need to, we can still kind of tighten up a little bit. Make sure these are staying in line, nice and straight, nice and tight. All right, so we're going to continue down. Again, I've got my right string going behind, left string going in front. Looks like on this one, we might be twisting twice. Oops. So, we've got our first part of the twist. That will bring us to there. I think we'll go ahead and add this second twist at this point. So, and again, we want to keep these nice and tight, especially towards the top. You don't want to get loose. And now I like to kind of hold that in place so it doesn't spin out of control and get loose. Same thing, we're just going to come in through our hole here next to our leather. <laughs> there it goes. And again, probably should have melted these tips down even a little bit more. The tighter we get these strings, the harder that is to jam through. So, we've got that pulled through, get the slack out. I'm going to go ahead, bring it around to the end, and just come through that gap and pull in the slack. When we start doing multiple twists, it's important to keep tension on the line, and this is going to help. Um, so, same thing, I'm now going to kind of hold it, the base of that twist, keep that tension on there, come around this side and through this hole. And we're going to pull the slack around. Again, with my thumbs, keep tension on the uh, twisted knot there. Once again, we're going to bring this through the gap now. And as you can see, that just looks ugly. So I think we should tighten this side, start pulling that in, pulling our slack through, and then same thing over here. Pull that in a little bit, take that slack out. That's starting to look a little better. And we'll just do a little bit more. And sometimes you want to make sure that everything is straightened up. So, like, if this is starting to fall down a little, that'll change what we're doing. All right. So that's set to move on. So once again, coming from the right, got a twist in the back, bring it around. So we've got a slightly smaller gap through here, so we're just going to go back to the one twist. Probably could have done just one above this one, but that's okay. And that double twist is where you start getting into what we call a P to pocket. Um, and so I'm just going to bring my slack through this side, up through the hole, we're going to pull that slack through, bring that down, help you guys out a little more. So again, pulling this slack through, and I'm going to bring it around through this gap. Twist that so it's not getting uh, switched over there. And we'll do the same thing coming the other way. Take our slack going from the back of the leather in through this next hole coming down pull that slack through and we'll kind of start tightening this up alright almost done with this section which means I get another break which is awesome because I'm out of water I'm really getting thirsty after talking so much alright so again pull this thread right through there I guess it's not a thread it's a line or string anyway pull that through yeah we'll tighten this one up a little bit looks a little bit funny and again I'm staring at this from a funny angle when I string I'm normally where the camera is so it's a little bit off, just keep going with it, we're learning the knots, that's what's important. Alright, so, and once again down here, we'll just go ahead and throw in one twist, because I know this one will get adjusted. This last twist we're doing here is pretty much to keep all this stuff in place that we've just done. So once again, starting from the right side, bring it around the back, get that twist. I'm going to come through the hole we made over here, our light little gap. Bring that around, and once again, coming across the front of the leather, because you guys are looking at the front of the head, it's going to come through this big gap right here, and ta-da, this side's probably done for now. And now we're going to do the same thing, 
going to the other side. The string got this going around the leather, in through this gap. Let's see, as the string starts to come out, I'm just going to pull that through. And same thing, just kind of bring it around, tail in through this big gap here. Pull that slack through, get any twists out that are in there. It's kind of loose, and this one's going to be adjusted once we start making our pocket. Don't even worry about this last part right here. It's just to kind of hold everything in place. So, kind of tug those loose strings, get them on there, and uh, give you guys a closer look. You know what? I can just hold this here and zoom in with the camera. Pretty high tech. So, that's kind of what we've done. We're interlocking all these together, We're making sure that nothing's kind of crossed over each other. They're staying, they're stacked. And get those nice and tight, keep those nice and even through there. Alright, so the next part, we're going to work on blowing out this pocket, and uh, then it'll be attaching our sidewalls. Because right now, looks like we've just a fantastic girl stick. We're going to do a little better. Alright, so again, guys, this has been Coach Brian from Inlax.com, and we'll see you on the next one.